Another looks at that and says, a complex design like this, I wonder if there was a, a creator or a thought designer behind this. Are you familiar with the little quip uh, that million to one odds happen eight times a day in New York City? It's Never. the law of big numbers. There's enough stuff happening out there. There's enough particles, there's enough forces. The sun is burning, it's putting energy into the system. That's of course, we generate complexity. Scientifically, does out of, make uh, sense. Out of chaos. This is called emergence, pro uh, the principle of emergence. Out of, out of chaos emerges complexity. Without any designer at all, all you need is energy put into the system. That's it. It just happens spontaneously. Now, as, as pattern-seeking animals, it's impossible for us to think it can't just happen. There must be somebody behind the curtain pulling the strings. Behind the curtain pulling the strings. Somebody behind the curtain pulling the strings. But, 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 but there isn't. But, 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 but there isn't. There is no devil, there is no heaven, there is no hell, and there is no God. So, I'm only one of the many Darwinian biologists who believe we understand the meaning of life. What, what, what? The meaning of life. What, what? The meaning of life. What, what, what? What is the meaning of life? The meaning of life is, um, life is a, is a, is a series of machines which are programmed to propagate the instructions that built them, the hereditary instructions that built them. And so that's the biological meaning of life. I hasten, I hasten, I hasten to add that's not, of course, the, the meaning of life for you and me. Love and family life and, 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 and um, whatever it is we do, whether it's writing books or, or listening to music. But the, the reason you're in the world is the biological meaning. Given that you're in the world, then you can make life mean whatever you want it to mean. In the timescale of the age of the universe, our human origins take up a tiny fraction. To illustrate this, let's compress the age of the universe from 15 billion years to the present into a single year. So the Big Bang happened at one second after midnight, January 1. Then our galaxy, the Milky Way, started around May 1st, our solar system on September 9th, the Earth on September 14th, and life began about September 25th. Plants evolved about November 12th, the first vertebrates on December 19th, and the first dinosaurs on Christmas Eve. Mammals appear on December 26th, birds on the 27th, and the first humans at 10.30 p.m. December 31st. Our first civilizations began in the last 30 seconds. It gives us pause to reflect that paleontologists are trying to fill in the last 30 minutes, which represents three to five million years. It's all in your head, FM. Get him up against the armature. That's, it. That's it. so easy. Tie those straps securely. They can take your face right off. So uh, what we're going to do right here on Wild Life tonight is uh, shave all the hair off this chimp from face to feet. And uh, Chuck is now spraying the restrained chimp all over with Gillette's new Tough Guy Shaving Gel. We're going to begin shaving this chimpanzee's entire body clean of all hair. You know, I, I believe this is another exclusive for Wildlife tonight, and it's all in your head, FM. Uh, although I must confess, I don't see why no one has done this before. And now Chuck is... Uh, Hold on, I gotta get my razor. Chuck is uh, getting out his razor now and... Uh, shaving the chimp's body. Seems to be a little discomfort, but uh, come on, we've all shaved. It doesn't actually hurt that much. Yeah, now we're seeing some uh, some real skin here. We're doing this full body monkey makeover for the first time anywhere because, well, I'll bet none of you listening out there have ever seen a shaved monkey before in your life. Think about it, I'll bet never before. And you know what? There's an important reason why you've never seen a shaved monkey before, and it does not include protecting the dignity of the animal. That's just an excuse. 
Nope, you have never been allowed to see it because it is a shocking, almost unbearable testament to our own intimate link with animal evolution. Chip appears very angry. Uh, he's, uh, he's strapped in a standing position to a to a sort of a crucifix-style armature on the table there, trembling a little under the restraints. Be gentle, Chuck. Yeah, I don't know. This uh, this razor you gave me is no good. I gotta switch to something else to get all this hair off. Uh, Chuck now going electric for that thick back hair. By the way, what's his name, Chuck? Uh, his name? No, this is a girl chimp. No, we call her, uh, we call her Cherry. Cherry? Yeah. Cute breasts. Yeah. Uh, be sure to get all around her private parts, too. I want to completely shave Cherry. Well, I'm trying. It doesn't like this. Wow, much. that makes her very angry. No. She doesn't like that at all. Well, I, I guess we're sorry to have to put this innocent chimp through this, but... You know, it's simply necessary to create a greater good for all of us. Sort of like testing cosmetics on them. Uh, Chuck's using a Jumbo Gillette Protec Tough Guy razor system on Cherry, and uh, perhaps it should have been a Lady Protec, but it seems to be working just great. From first shave to last, always a smooth shave with Gillette. That's good, that's good. And, uh, gee, in Cherry's case, I guess this is her first and last shave. But uh, when this chimp is entirely shaved, everyone will see for the first time why we are truly all brothers to this sister under the skin. Chuck's now finishing off her, her face and neck. Uh, just, just leave a head of hair like us, that's all. No mustache, it's a girl. Oh, no, I did. Great, great, that's it. And uh, here comes the hose. Rinsing her all off now. Wow. That's it. There you go. And there you have it. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. Creepy, but amazing. Now that's it. Get her out of the straps there, Chuck. That's it. Amazing. Truly amazing. Uh, she, she looks just like my kid. <laughs> yeah, I realize this is rehearsal. Once you see a monkey's full frontal bare skin anatomy, something we have never been allowed to see. Well, it's so strangely like our own anatomy, just, just different proportions in the parts, but all the same skeletal and muscular structures. Why, it's like an organic revelation. All right, Chuck, you can remove the shave, Jim. Okay. A wonderfully telling demonstration. Thank you. And, uh, ow, ow, don't, you little Don't worry about Cherry, folks. We have a little skirt and sweater for her. Well, what can anyone say? Truly a wildlife tonight revelation. And for God's sakes, if there was one, what more need we be? And uh, I guess that's it. Nature's clock is ticking. Thanks to Cherry the Chimp, Chuck the Monkey Man, and the Gillette Shaving Corporation, now in your face with the Protec Maximus 2 Jet Shave System. Buck Logic, now back to Dr. Oslo, Norway's brain, and it's all in your head, FM. That's it for Wildlife Tonight. Thank you, Buck and Chuck, and good luck. Tune in to Wildlife Tonight next week when we travel to the north of Portugal and broadcast live from the Maya Zoo's lion cage. Buck Logic will lower himself into the African lion cage to prove his theory that there is no God to protect him. Much more to contemplate from It's All In Your Head FM, so stay tuned. You are listening to It's All In Your Head FM. We interrupt this program. The Office of Civil Defense has issued the following message. This is an attack warning. Repeat, this is an attack warning. Attack warning means that an actual attack against this country has been detected and that protective action should be taken. 
Important instructions will follow in 30 seconds. 